This is the new Kitronic Clip Halo for the BBC Microbit. We've designed this product so that you can easily connect to the Microbit pins, which we can see here, but using these large circular connecting points. This allows us to easily use clip leads or conductive thread with the BBC Microbit. It's very simple to mount the Microbit to the clip halo. The pins here connect onto these spring connectors here on the back of the clip halo. These are springy. And the microbit itself is clamped to them using this mounting bar. To do this, we first need to remove the mounting bar from the clip halo itself. So the microbit will sit here like this. The bolts pass through and they screw into this mounting bar behind. So there you go, we've done one. And the process is repeated for all the bolts, holding the microbit securely in place like this. All of the microbit pins are broken out to connections around the outside. And these are clearly labeled so you can identify each. So here we have P16, P15, P14, etc. There are also multiple power and ground connections located around the outside. So if you're using things like crocodile clips, which I have an example here, and you need more than one three volt connection or ground connection, you can use these different points so you're not always sharing the same ring. To power the board, you have a few options. We can use the USB connection on the micro bit or the JST connection on the micro bit. And alternatively, the clip halo itself also has a JST connector, which we can see here, which can be used to pro provide power both to the halo and to the micro bit. So here we have a very simple circuit that we've made using the clip halo and clip leads and some components. We have a piezo buzzer here, which we're using for output, and then we're using these copper pads here, which we've taped to this piece of perspex to make some keys. The back one's a ground pad, so if I hold that with one hand, I can then use these that's an input to the micro bit, which then tells the buzzer to play a certain tone. In this example, we've used a clip halo with conductive thread to connect some LEDs which we've sewn in. If we turn it over, we can see where the conductive thread is then going off to the four LEDs around the outside and it's used to control them. And in this example, we've also powered the halo using our Maya power board. If I turn this on, we'll get a little tune because of the onboard buzzer that's on the Maya power board. And you can see now the LEDs are flashing and the connections and the control is made using this conductive thread where each one is sewn to a different pin on the outside of the clip halo.